Ciao, I'm Chiara from Perfil Segno and welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to crochet this beautiful and elegant shawl with Aran Granny Square motif. As you can see I created a border all the way around with a particular yarn to have a nice uh, Christmas effect. Ok, for this project uh, I use uh, uh, Merino Ara from Mondial in these colors. You can find all information in the description box. And uh, hook number six. Then uh, I use two skeins of Vello and uh, a hook number 12 to create uh, this particular border. Okay, first you have to create a total of 30 around granny square. I leave the link of the video tutorial in the info box below. Okay, now I've made 10 granny with light gray color, 10 with cream color and 10 with brown color. So now we are ready to sew them uh, together using a tapestry needle and um, leftover yarn. So um, to know how to assemble the Aran Granny Square, please download uh, this schema, this diagram. You can find the link in the info box below. And uh, I prefer to sew the strips first uh, and then join each strip together following the, uh, the scheme. So uh, these are the colors of the first strip. So what we have to do now is uh, to place uh, uh, the first two granny square with the right side uh, uh, together and sew them using a tapestry needle and a piece of the same yarn. I choose this um, cream uh, color. Uh, so do a simple knot and using a tapestry needle to sew the two granny square, square together. Okay, now we do uh, the same uh, with the cream color. Okay, don't uh, don't worry to leave this tail uh, because uh, we will use it to sew the the other strip. So grab your tapestry needle again and grab your um, piece of yarn and continue to sew. Okay, now the first strip is done, so let's look the scheme together to understand the next colors to sew. So now we are ready to sew this second strip as we did before. So all we have to do now is to continue to sew uh, as we did before following the scheme. Uh, 
Okay, now all of the Aran Granny Square are sewing together. So now we are going to create um, a nice border. But before proceeding, I suggest you weave all the tails inside the shawl using a tapestry needle. You will have a lot of tails, so be patient. Okay, now grab uh, uh, hook number 12 and uh, velo yarn and now we are going to do a round of single crochet stitches all the way around. So first uh, we insert the hook in the corner and of course uh, we will work uh, between the stitches. So insert the hook here, then chain two. Okay, now pay attention. We are going to create a soft border and not too tight. So choose how many stitches to skip are perfect for you. I think two or three stitches. Then we do one single crochet until we reach uh, the next corner. So here in the corner we do two single crochet and then we continue to do as we did before. So we continue to do one single crochet. Skip two or three stitches and remember to work between the stitches. And now we do one slip stitch in the second chain. Okay, now we are ready to cut the yarn, then grab a smaller crochet hook to weave the ends inside the border. Okay, now the project is done and ready to wear. I think that this shawl is a very elegant and classy. It's warm, soft, and this border creates a nice winter and Christmas look. 
So with the holidays on the way, it also makes a thoughtful and made a gift to give to your friends and family. So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Let me know in the comments down below. Remember to tag me on Instagram or Facebook if you create your art and show. I will leave all the links that you need in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on bell icon to get notification. Thank you for watching. Thanks to my model, my daughter Maya, and I see you in the next video. Ciao and tanto love.